Well, some encouraging news for the U.S. economy. More than 500,000 jobs were created in the month of January. And unemployment is actually at its lowest since 1969. But you can see the Dow did not react well. The stock's down 127 points today. But what about Connecticut? Chief political reporter Susan Raff is live tonight in Rocky Hill, where one industry is still struggling. Susan. There's no question about it. The restaurant industry was probably the hardest hit during the pandemic. Things are better now, but they still are struggling to find workers. And now again, they're dealing with something else, higher food prices. But overall, the job picture in Connecticut is a little bit brighter. What are you seeing as far as prices? Like we're uh, all seeing. Double, triple sometimes, you know, it fluctuates week to week. Patty Cakes uses lots of eggs and milk in their pastries and breads. And raising prices could keep some customers away. Ridiculous. You buy a few items, it's like 50 bucks. Gas prices is ridiculous. Trying to get places, necessities are a problem. The pandemic was hard enough. Now, high food prices. Another industry still recovering, the financial sector. But overall, jobs are coming back. How would you give Connecticut's economy on a scale of one to 10? <laughs> uh, I would say eight and a half. Um, I think we're doing very well. We had a very good year in 2022. Patrick Flaherty, an economist with the Department of Labor, says we would be a 10 if it wasn't for those who left the workforce during the pandemic and didn't return. Connecticut has 100,000 jobs available, but added 87,000 over the past two years. Jobs in demand include more nurses, manufacturers, and truck drivers. My colleagues and I understand the hardship that high inflation is causing, and we are strongly committed to bringing inflation back down to our 2% goal. But inflation continues to be an issue. And while gas prices have come down, the cost of food is rising. And what about concerns about a recession? So far in January, which is usually a month where we see an uptick in unemployment benefits, we have fewer than 29,000 people on average per week claiming unemployment benefits. That's the lowest January we've ever seen. Connecticut's unemployment rate is about 4.2 percent. It is higher than the national rate of 3.6 percent, but still, it is a low number. We are live tonight in Rocky Hills, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.